Hi everyone, it's Andrea and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be another colour and chat. Quick disclaimer, this is a channel that is a, for adults and not children. None of the videos in this uh, on this channel are made for or intended for children. So this is colour and chat and in this one we're going to be colouring this dragon in from Colour in Heaven Dragon Specials. I've wanted to do this one for a while. This is the Frost Dragon. Um, and once we've done the Frost Dragon, we will be going on to Magical Jungle because somebody wanted to see that. And I've sort of got a couple of pages that I'm interested in, um, but I'm not 100% uh, sure which one yet. There's a, a couple that I'm ooh, in two minds at. So we're going to start on, on, on his head. So I've got, it says here the Frost Dragon is... Um, they're usually pure white or white tinged with blue or pink with shimmering scales. Frosts have piercing yellow eyes and protest the most remarkable eyesight of any dragon. So I've got a very, very light blue here. This is a prism colour and it's sky blue light. So what I'll do is I'll just go over his skin with this all first. And this is going to be our base colour for him. We won't do the teeth and obviously we won't do the eyes but we'll do all his scales with one light colour of this first. So you won't really see much on this, it'll just be like that. I really like this dra these dragons in here and I'm not a big dragon person. I know that there are a lot of people who really really love dragons and I get why they're just not normally my bag but there's a few in here I really like so I'm just going to do his head first so you can't see anything at the moment it still looks pretty damn wide <laughs> so how are you how has your week been so far we're all fine here. Obviously, we've been working all week. You're seeing this on Friday. It's being filmed on Thursday. So we've got one more day to go before uh, it's the weekend. But it's almost here, so. Have you got anything planned for the weekend? So at the moment, lockdown is starting to ease, even here in Wales. We can now go further than five miles. Um, which is cool. We plan on popping to Cardiff. Um, not to the town, we're not going shopping on on, sun, on Saturday. We're just going to go over to Roth Park and the lake and have a wander around and see Paul's mum because she lives over there at the moment. She's supposed to be moving. She's been supposed to be moving for the last two years, but she'll get there in the end. But uh, yeah, so we plan on going over, have a walk around the lake. And then I said to Paul, Saturday when we come home we'll have a, a steak dinner and then on Sunday after we've done our shopping I said that we'll go to McDonald's and have a McDonald's and he's like yes please Paul does like his McDonald's I don't blame him I like a McDonald's every now and again so I've got a slightly darker blue but it's not a very dark blue so I'm just going to go over that because I think that other blue was while it was very nice it was a little bit too light and you couldn't see anything so I'm actually going to just go over it very quickly with this to there we are and then we'll start using the darker blues for the outlines Yeah, I do quite like colouring these dragons. Like I said, I'm not a big dragon person. But I'm liking it. I want to say hello to all my new subscribers. I've had a lot of new subscribers join in the last week. And I think that's been since I put the Colin Thompson flip through up. I have been colouring in that. I have finished one picture already. And I'm working on another one. And um, I am enjoying it. It's, it's just something I can just do a little bit at a time. I don't have to... You know, I just do a little section and then stop and then do another section and then stop and so on. And uh, it's really good. So I can see now there's a nice light layer of blue on this. 
but it is very light. So, well, I tend to, with the dragons, build layers up just to get it how I want. But, uh, so I didn't mention this um, in my vlog yet, I'm working on, but we have now seen a photograph of the next Black Widow set. There's a photograph on their main page, on their um, Facebook page. Um, the 48th set is called Monarch and it has a uh, stag on it, as in like the Monarch of the Glen. It's a Scottish thing. Um, and they do look very nice and they say obviously the picture is not going to be true to the actual colours when you get them. But it looks like there's a few pastels in there, which is nice. It's a lot, um, not a bright set like we've had. There's a lot of blues. Again, that's lots, lots of pale blues. There's lots of pale peaches and pinks. I'm hoping that they'll work well with the, the skin tone set and help. Um, with that. So I'm going to take non-photo blue next and what we do is we're just going to go and put some darker bits in, put some tinges in So yeah, we'll be doing Magical Jungle next. Hopefully this won't take me as long to do as the other dragon I did, which took about three days. But it probably didn't take me as long as I think it did. It's just I only did it in a small bits. So. And I think for the Mag Magical Jungle, I'll probably use the Jelly Rolls and... Um, the Arteza twine markers, I think, I think that's what I'm going to use. I haven't decided 100% yet, it does depend on the picture, but one of the pictures does lend itself to, looks like it'd be good with those, so. So far, I'm colouring slowly this month because most of what I'm doing is pencil work. I've got a few, um, patterns on the go but uh, I'm not really um, I haven't really worked on them for a while um, I'm I'm kind of not really in a patterny mood this month I guess normally I, I do loads of patterns and I've usually by now which is say the, what are we on, ninth, tenth, something like that, tenth. I've normally done about eight or nine pictures because I've done so many patterns, but I haven't. I've finished three. One, of course, was the one we did, the summer summertime fun. Colin Thompson one, which was done with the Black Widows, and the Kelly Horton one, which was done with the Black Widows. So, yeah. How I do my dragon there. Yeah, I'm, I do like this uh, this dragon. This frost dragon particularly is pretty. So as you can see, there's <coughs> a lot of uh, blue tint going on. I want a bit more in just the way I do it. I just put on lots of different layers of the colours I'm using. So lots of blue, pale blue, darker blue, darker blue again, then pale blue. And this is how I did the other one, but I did it with, obviously, red pencils. And we did it with the um, Arteza, not the Arteza, I've got those. The Black Widows, you know, I'm not really with it today. So tomorrow Paul's having a Zoom meeting, well today, Friday night, so I'm on a non-filming day um, for colouring. I will be filming a reading video and I'll be filming that and then I'm going to make some popcorn.
and have a movie night up here. I haven't decided what to watch yet but it's going to be something like um, an old movie so maybe a Judy Garland film or a Doris Day film. There is a, a few films that I want to watch that I've got that I haven't yet. So. Oh dear, excuse me. Stiff already. I mean, I haven't been done last time. So yeah, I mean obviously working with pencils does take a lot longer than markers. But Um, it does take a lot longer. But I don't mind, I quite like that. Sometimes it's nice to take a bit longer. I was like with the gel pens, I mean I love colouring the patterns. I'm just, at the moment, I'm not in a patterny mood. I'm sure I will be again soon. It, it won't be for long that I'm off the patterns. It's just at the moment, so. I think sometimes you do so much of something that you do get a bit bored of it more than likely. It's natural to. Because we do so much colouring that you, if, you, if you did all all markers or all pencils or gel pens or all patterns or all people you'd always get fed up of, of it at some point. It's why I'm quite enjoying doing these different ones. I mean I'm still working on my Kirby Rosanna's one. I haven't picked that up for ages. It's not that I'm not going to finish it. I definitely will. I mean, really enjoying it. It's just I've not been in the mood for it. So you can always have a few whips where you're not in the mood for them at any one, one time and then go back to them. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt at all. So if I'm liking the way this is looking. Like I said, I'm just going to... So my promise not to buy any colouring books or not to buy many colouring books has gone out the window this month, hasn't it, already? Terrible. It's really bad. Um, first of all, I was like, oh, I'll just have my Colouring Evan magazine and the new Whimsy Girls one, and I'll do. Yeah, of course it will. And then I decided to buy... Um, a couple more of the April Amber books, the Chippy Girls ones. Oh, I'll just get them, that one out. And then I was ordering a CD player for the bedroom um, and for the garden. And guess what? I ordered another four Jade Sun books. I shouldn't be allowed anywhere near the Amazon button. I'm done now, can't afford nothing else for the rest of the month because I bought that a CD player, so. I know, people say, oh, we all do streaming these days. I don't. I like tangibility. I like to own things. Um, yeah. Collect records, CDs, books. I do, do, however, have a Kindle. And I do love um, buying Kindle books. So That's that bit done. I'm just going to sharpen my pencil. I'll be right back. Okay, um, I've sharpened the pencils up. We're going to do these horny bits on the top, so to speak. Yeah, it is going to be a very, very, I guess, boring colour colour along. So, but it's about colouring and chatting and how I do things. And I enjoyed colouring the other one. And like I said we will do Magical Jungle. I think it'll be nice. I've never coloured in that book. And um, I've only ever, I think I've only ever coloured one Johanna Basford on camera. I might have done a, a Christmas one though, because I've done quite a few in the Christmas book. I am still doing some Christmas pages, but I'm not really in the mood. And I think that's the problem. 
as I said I'm just putting this one colour over it so I'm just really going for get, to get it this one layer on as quickly as I can so and we'll use some Wink Estella on the the scales here to make it shimmer so we'll still put colour on them but we've got a, we've got a white one and we've got a clear one so I don't think there's a lot of difference in it but we're just putting down this this one layer of um, I don't know what colour this is light blue sky now what I might do is I might actually change the battery because the battery's gone okay so I changed the battery <laughs> oh dear me it's gonna be one of those nights I think so I really like this dragon I had to do the European one first because I really wanted to do it red and you know like a Welsh dragon the only dragons there are really are Welsh, but there you go. They're the, they're the real dragons. But um, yeah, I in, I enjoyed it. But um, I thought I, w I wanted to get started on this one. I thought we'll do it on here. So yeah, um, if I go out the lines, I'll just get the eraser on it later when I finish filming. But uh, so we got some scales there. So what I tend to do with the scales. Let's colour them in. We will use a darker colour, probably that one, which is cerulean, is it? Yeah, blue. <laughs> to just do a little outline. I do like this dragon particularly. I think he looks really cool. I suppose he is cool, he's a frost dragon, he would be cool. It's a silly thing to say, woman. Just being silly now. So again we got some scales down here. So we'll get the, the dark blue first and we'll go around it like that. Just to make them stand out. You can't see what I'm doing, so I'm useless. I'm not really very good at this at the moment, am I? I think I should just go home to bed. Okay, we can see where's the other colour gone. Oh, it's up there, that's fine. Good. more here. It just makes them stand out. Get the non-photo blue on it which is a lovely colour. Again this is one of the colours I've used the most of out of um, my Prismas. It's the one I will need to look to replace soon, maybe next month. Yeah, I do like this one. I think there's enough on that bit now. I don't know how long I've been colouring for on here. I'm not going to go too 
much on the scales because they should be a very light colour. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this non photo blue in and up here. And then we'll go back over it with the uh, other one, just for sharpen the pencil. We'll just uh, come in on this top bit here. So I am really enjoying this dragon. I know it's a lot, it's, it's going to be very boring, but um, I thought I'd just do it this one. And then if you want, let me know in the comments below. Do you want me to continue colouring this dragon on camera? Or do you want me to move on to Magical Jungle? Because, um, to be fair, this is going to be a lot of the same colours. It isn't going to be very exciting. It's going to be all this blue, a lot of blue. If you want to see me build up the layers and how I do my dragon like I did the other one, then that's fine. I'm quite happy to, to carry on. But if you'd rather me move on to something a bit more exciting... I am quite happy to do that. Just let me know in the comments below. I just thought, you know, it's the last day of the week. I didn't want to start, you know, I hadn't quite decided, but if you want me to move on to Magical Jungle, just let me know. If you want to see me finish the Frost Dragon, then just leave a comment down below and let me know what you would prefer. I'm easy, I just thought it'd be nice to have a nice pale, chilled, relaxed with the dragon. So, so as you can see I'm just using a lighter colour to blend all those in. I'm going to actually get a darker colour and just go around his eyes to make his eyes stand out slightly. But like I said, I am enjoying this 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 dragon book. I mean, I don't know how many more I'll do in it. I'll probably do more. Um, it might not be for a while after this one, just because, like I said, I'm not a a big dragon person, and I am trying to colour in all the books I've got. I have got over 200 colouring books. I think it's nearer 250 now. So I really, really want to, to crack on and try and colour at least one picture in every book before the end of 2020. And of course I'm still buying books, so that's that bit. I don't know how long this video has been. We will keep going for a bit longer, but I am going to have to move. So I'm going to switch it off and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so we're going to do this bit now where his plates are. I said, because I'm using the lightest colour, I can go over what I've already done. It won't hurt it at the moment, but I will be changing to a darker colour in a moment. I'll just go as far as there for a minute. Let me see all that. So you can see there's hardly any colour there. You can't see the colour. So I'm just going to come in and do a little bit of a non-photo blue here and here and here um, but as you can see I'm not putting a lot on this bit and there's a reason for that and you'll see that in a minute so just here just here just here just here just here that's done right so I'm gonna take yeah we'll take the dark one and I'm just gonna put a little bit of shade in by the lines there. It's very faint. You don't want a lot of dark colour on this. But I do like this dragon.
so yeah. All I'm doing is just put in little lines, a little bit of this um, cerulean blue by the edges of the, the plates. All this is underbelly. A bit around there. So it's very light, there's not that much. Because we don't want to make him too dark because he is a frost dragon. And then we're just going to blend it in with the lighter colour. I'm, I'm liking the way he's turning out actually. It's, it's very, very pale. It's going to be very hard to photograph to show in the colour in Heaven group. But at the moment he's looking alright. I'm, I'm liking him. Well, yeah. it's looking good. Yeah, with these dragons, they're so big, it's best just to pick a section and and do a section. That's what I did with the red dragon, and I did. And that's why it took me so long, because I, I did it in tiny little sections. And I did it a little bit each day. Because I didn't want to get horrendously bored with it. And that's why really doing them things on a colour and chat is a good thing, because... Oh dear, I'm tired. You do get a good... Um, because obviously I don't, you don't film all your colouring chats in one go because you'd have nothing to chat about. So I um, get a break from the picture I'm doing on a colouring chat. So if it's a big one like this, I've just got to move. Um, it is better because you get a break from it and I'm terrible with pictures that take a long time of getting very bored with them and leaving them and they end up not getting finished so it's good to uh, to have something like this and let's just do it like this uh, on a colouring chart and then you can uh, you don't get bored so much that way because obviously you're having a break from it while you go off and do something else so and that's why I like the Colin Thompson. I can just do a little tiny bit and then go off and think, right, I'm going to colour this now. And I don't feel guilty about leaving it because I know I will come back to it at some point. Like I said, I am trying to get through and complete all the whips that are on my whips shelf section because I want that section gone. Um, obviously, I've got a lot of whips on the go at the moment, so if I don't finish them all off, I'm going to end up putting more on there. But of course we're we're not we're not even halfway through the month yet, so I can leave it for a bit longer before I have to think oh, I've got to start finishing off these whips. But uh, yeah. So tomorrow I'll probably pick another Colin Thompson one to start and crack on with that one. So yeah, this is going to take a little while to do. It is very long, um, but I do think that sometimes it's good to do something like this on the channel. It shows you how I, the technique I use for doing something that's more complicated. So look, at the moment, I'm just putting a layer of this very light blue down on him so that he's almost ready, he'll be ready. I can go over the stuff I've already done because it's the same color as I've used. It's just blending it all in. I'm really liking the way he's coming out. This is what I wanted. And uh, I, like I said, I will be putting some Wink Estelle on it just to give it a bit of a shimmer. Whether or not that will actually show up in the photographs, I don't know. I hope so. So this is, like I said, I'm doing it in sections as well. And what I'll do is when we stop, I'll put all the pencils I'm using back into the pencil case. But I put them facing the other way. So I know that I'm using these particular the four shades of blue that I'm using for it. Um, I'm not using the Prismas for anything else at the moment. 
I'm still using I'm using the Black Widows on the Colin Thompson, the Polychromos on the Kirby Rosannas, and as usual gel pens are on, on the patterns because I do like doing the patterns. I think I'll do this little section up here. We've got some scaly bits here to just go around. So it's just a hint of blue. Like I said, I'll make him shimmer as well, so I've seen some lovely versions of this frost dragon and some people have got him a very dark blue and, and that's fine because there is no wrong in colouring, it's how you see it. So I want mine to be a lighter colour with a little bit of dark. Um, but I do really think that's the main thing that's that's why I think I find colouring so relaxing there's no wrongs or rights it's just what you want to do um, and how you think something should look if I wanted to do a fairy with orange face and purple hair I could do it oops excuse me knocking the tripod because it would not be wrong it would still be right because there's no right and wrong in art and that's all this is it's a form of art it's a form of expressing ourselves and I, I'm, I'm loving doing that I love making the videos I love chatting to you I love your comments so please keep the comments come in I am really grateful to every single one of you for subscribing you know at the moment this is an expensive hobby I'm not going to lie I spend a lot of money on my colouring supplies every month and I enjoy it and I would do it even if I wasn't making the videos so don't get me wrong I don't go and buy out every single book that comes out even the ones that people recommend because um, I like to find my own way and I'll get to that book probably at some point but it might be that I'm not into that style of art at the moment so I wouldn't want to try it yet but maybe in a year I would and I'm finding that's how how I work I work with what I want to colour and then if I if I don't like a particular artist I don't say it's rubbish because it's not it's just it's not for me at this time but it's like I've said my tastes have changed in the four years I've been colouring because I started around again around 2016 obviously I did it a lot when I was a kid I used to love colouring when I was little um, I started doing it again around 2016 we were I was doing a bit in 2011 at, at the job I had she, the one of the managers when it was quiet would print us out children's colouring pictures and get us some felt pens or some crayons and we'd sit there like we were in school colouring away it was great and we all loved it so when I discovered there was a whole colouring craze I'm like yes please that's for me so yeah I love it I'm glad I found it I mean I'm, I can't draw to save my life my brothers can both draw, but I do like to colour. It is, it's a very relaxing way of spending. Even making these videos I find very relaxing. Just sitting here having a chat to you, you're like my friends. You're not just subscribers, you're friends. And I'm not going to lie to you, if I hit a thousand subscribers, I will monetize the account because obviously if I've got money coming off the account, even if it's just a little bit every now and again, that's more stuff I can buy to show you. That's more colouring pencils, more books, you know, and stuff like that. So the money, any money I make is going to go straight back into stuff for the channel. So I wouldn't, don't, don't think it's going to just end up me buying stuff to, for me, it is going to be all going back into the channel. When I hit a thousand subscribers, I am going to do a 1000 subscriber giveaway. It won't be huge because obviously I haven't got a lot of money because the two year old takes it all. <laughs> Bless her. Uh, but yeah, I will do a 1000 subscriber giveaway with a small Amazon voucher as a prize. I would imagine that's what it will be. Um, 
but yeah, I will do one. So, but uh, yeah, I'm I'm loving the fact you guys are subscribing. I hope you do stick around. I've got lots more things I want to share with you. Lots of different um, videos I want to make. If you're interested, I talk about these in the weekly vlog um, when I show other things. Um, as a weekly vlog because I have, you know, colouring is the biggest part of my life, but it's not my entire life. Obviously, Jennifer is the main thing in my life, Jennifer and Paul. And we like to do other things. And I also like other things like movies and um, reading. So on Saturday, you will get a bit of a reading wrap up from me or a reading update on what I've read this week, what books I've finished, what books I'm continuing to read, um, what I'm hoping to finish and what I'm hoping to, to start. So obviously I used to do booktube but uh, I just can't get through enough books anymore. I There was a time I'd, I would read two to three, maybe even four books a week before Jennifer come along. Now I'm lucky if I can read two a month, but I wouldn't change it. I wouldn't be without her. She's my life. Um, but I do still try and read as much as I can. Uh, so yeah, oops, not the camera again. So yeah, we're gonna have a little reading update. It's all, it's all pretty much non-fiction. I am reading one fiction book, but you'll find out about that when I uh, do that wrap up. So I'll be filming that tomorrow. For what day? For Saturday night. Yeah. So, yeah, it's just. Uh, I'm trying to put something up every day at the moment. It's, it's, it's a lot of work, but I'm enjoying it. I mean, and some of it are things like flip throughs, which I've got a load of those films, and I just want to use them up. Um, there's the first impression series, which I, I think you enjoyed. I hope you did. Um, seem, people seem to have enjoyed it so I'm very pleased with that there's a few more of those to come obviously I'm not always going to be able to do first impressions because I'm not always going to be able to afford to buy new supplies or I'm going to run out of things to, to buy <laughs> it's never going to happen never going to run out of things to buy I just might run out of things that I can afford to buy so I've still got some more budget friendly stuff to do. I've got the um, the Crayola one which will be coming soon and I've got, once I've done that one I'll be doing one for the Faber-Castell Classics. I've got the Faber-Castell 24 set of Gold Faber so I'll do one of those. I've got the Marco Ruffines as well which were cheap enough. I've got the feelers but I'm not sure you can get them in the UK anymore. I can't find them on Amazon UK but uh, if you're interested in a a budget friendly review on the feelers I can certainly do it it might just be me I sometimes have problems finding um, things on Amazon it's like every time Jade Summer releases a book I can't find it on the UK one somebody has to point me in the right direction they have to send me the link because I can't find it and I, I don't know why it, it's just weird but uh, yeah but uh, I do like it. So the last Jade Summer book they put out was Ex Home Exteriors, uh, which doesn't appeal to me that much. I've seen a few and it is they do actually look better than I thought. They they are some interesting ones. So it's I mean I might get but I'm not rushing out to, to get it. I'm I've back ordered a, a few other ones which I shouldn't have done, but I have because I'm naughty. So you'll see those at the end of the month. And it's the end of the month when obviously my normal upload schedule will probably go out the window because I don't want to overburden you with too many videos in one day. You know, that's why I try and put one up a day. I don't really want to put up completed pages, colour and chat or haul and a flip through. Um, I can if you want, but I am trying to make sure I've got enough to hide me over when I have when I can't do things like a first impressions video so 
I've, I'm enjoying filming those, I'm not going to lie. I'm working on two at the moment and one of the watercolour pencils which I had for my birthday from my mum. So yeah, I'm very excited about the new um, set of uh, Black Widows. I think they look absolutely brilliant and if they are very pastely, they are going to be a welcome addition to the collection. Albert's not giving out any information as to whether or not there'll be any more next year. I did say I'd like to see a watercolour set and he did like the comment, he hearted it, so you never know, we might get that, that would be nice. I'd love a watercolour set of the Black Widows. I am now currently using, is it one pencil? One pencil from my second set of Black Widows. So I've got two, um, I've bought another set because m my original set is getting very thin. So I've actually kicked open a new one. I'm going to leave it there for today. It's got to be long. It's got to be about 40 minutes. I would think so. So I'm going to just zoom out. So this is how he looks so far. I'm really pleased with him. I think he looks lovely. Um, if you want to see me complete this on camera, do let me do it down below. I'm happy to do that. Or if you want me to move on to Magical uh, Jungle, just, just let me know. I don't mind. I just wanted to show you how I, I got the effect that I got on the uh, other one. And I, I think I've shown you. I think it's, it has actually shown you how I did it. And you can see how it took so long. So let me know what you want me to do in the next video. Do you want me to carry on with this one? Or shall we move over to Magical Jungle? I don't mind. Let me know in the comments below. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give a big thumbs up. And show... Oh, I can't even speak. And... Uh, share it with your friends if you think they're into colouring and don't forget to subscribe if you're not a subscriber click the subscribe button and the notification bell I do appreciate it and another thing if you are a colourist and you have a YouTube channel and you make videos like these please leave me um please let me know in the comments below just say I have a channel I will then click on your channel link which is your, your your picture go and have a look at it and I will subscribe to you because I do appreciate um, how important subscribers are and I'm happy to subscribe to you and I'll try and watch as many of your videos as I can um, I've got a lot of subscriptions and I tend to go through um, phases of watching all colouring or all reselling or all vinyl or all spooky stuff um, at the moment and going through a colouring phase so I'm watching all the, the colouring ones. I do try and, and watch them all, all the hauls and the completed pages and some of the colouring charts if I've got time because they're obviously long but I do try and make time for them at least a, a couple of days a week. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!